Hello and welcome to the series of topics on Salesforce. In this session, we are going to learn about how uh, we can create the sales process for an opportunity. The sales processes are the processes for each organization that consists of multiple stages in an opportunity that it will go through uh, in order to finally uh, win a particular deal or lose a deal, uh, starting from the prospecting stage of a uh, sales process. And the process is that we need to define the sales process first and then associate that sales process uh, to a record type uh, which we need to uh, create and then finally use that sales process within the opportunity based on the record type. So let's go ahead and create the sales process first. Um, the way of doing it is we need to navigate to setup and then customize under the build and then go to opportunities and sales process click on sales process so I would be brought to the screen where I can click on the new button since there are no sales process defined within this um, organization so it asks for an existing sales process which I can use as a template if some uh, sales process has already been defined in our organization and you need to reuse the uh, sales stages or opportunity stages within those uh, sales process but I don't have any I click I retain the master I select the master and I define the name and depending on the product I have I can say mobile products that's my mobile products process is the process name I provide and I provide a description so this is for mobile based products okay so I click on save once I define the sales process title then I go in for uh, then I'm being displayed all the predefined sales stages which is because I chose master as the template the master template contains all these stages so I select all of them and click on remove button in order to um, change this sales process for this mobile based products process so I in my process I select only the ones that is required I check for prospecting I click on qualification and then I go for proposal then closed one and close last so I have selected only five stages which is simpler ones compared to the early ones so I click on add to select the stages then I click on save for saving the sales process so now I am done with the sales process the next step is I need to go and create an opportunity record type so that I can use that in the opportunity so under the opportunities again I click on record types so since there is no record types available under this opportunity record type I click on new button and I create the record type S similarly similar to the process sales processes we have the if there is an existing record type you can choose the existing record type if, since there is nothing I will choose the master and I create the record type as mobile product type record type so I get the same the important thing is that I need to associate the process or the sales process with respect to this record type and say record type for mobile 
products. Okay, so I retain. Uh, I I want to provide this access to all the profiles for this record type. So I just click on next. So I need to select the page layout. I select the opportunity layout as the one of the layouts that I want to select or I can choose to apply a different layout for each profile if it is required to do so. So I click on save. So I have I've completed creating the record type and associating the record type and to the sales process that I have defined which is a custom sales process that I can use in my opportunities. Thanks for joining. Uh, we hope this session was interesting and informative to you. Meet you next time very soon. Thanks.